You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. But I tell you what, brother, uh, Dr. Hotez, really, I'm, and thank you for having him on. You know, he raised a couple of things that are critical. One is access to the vaccine. Here in Washington, D.C., I was in a conversation today with some colleagues at Howard, folks who live in the upper northwest along 16th, right out the window here, who had to go to southeast D.C. to get their vaccine. And they said once they got to southeast D.C., because the center was put there, I guess, to encourage black folk, they said over half the folk they saw getting the vaccine were white folks who had driven in. So. You know, part of it is you got to open up more centers. The second thing that he raised is very important is that those centers have to be. Well, I'm, I'm saying this as well. It ha They have to be strategically uh, located. They need to be near churches, community centers, Prince Hall Mason Lodge, Order Eastern Star, wherever the folks uh, congregate so that you can see people, you know. And, and, you know, Raphael Warnock said this now, Senator Warnock on your show over a year ago. He said COVID-19 has exposed COVID-16-19. And so what you now see is, you know, I'm looking at things and you've seen them all rolling. You've been sharing them on social media. You get a, a black nurse or a black doctor and she's uh, inoculating uh, a, an elder in a church. And you say, OK, this is a black woman inoculating an older black woman. And you begin to build trust that way. The other thing is, and this is the thing that, you know, yeah, those variants, this is serious, man. You know, South Africa has already shut down AstraZeneca because it's proving ineffective against this new variant that they have. So we, we've got to worry about that title way. But here's the issue. Finally, what happens when, and right now they're saying New York Times is reporting roughly about 5% of the population in the country have been fully vaccinated and at least 12% have gotten at least one dose. What happens when those numbers continue to build and tip? And then you have an outsized group of non-white folk, particularly black and brown folk, who have not been inoculated. Will you then be fired? Will you then be coerced and say, if you don't take it, you're going to lose your job? And will there then emerge a kind of a, 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 a two-tiered system, a kind of medical apartheid of sorts that say you can't come in this eating establishment, your child can't come to this school until they get vaccinated. We're setting ourselves up, in other words, for a very difficult future, not just in terms of the long-term effects, but perhaps even the, the politics of this vaccine. So, you know, by all means, if you can get it, go get it. And, you know, for the policymakers, right there where you are saying, you know, you got to follow what you did in Georgia, uh, Roland. We got to roll into these places, talk to the people on the ground, in the ground, listen to what they have to say, and you distribute the vaccine through those people that people trust. They're not watching TV to build trust. Every single night. We've got some of the top black experts. You're not going to see them on cable news or broadcast news because you swear black people aren't experts when it comes to this health crisis. That's why we have this show and why we do what we do every day on Roland Martin Unfiltered. Joining us right now is retired General Russell Honoré, the nation's first black surgeon general, Dr. Joycelyn Elders, John Hope Bryant, he is the founder of Operation Hope, Senator Kamala Harris of California, Dr. Sadrina Calder, retired General Lloyd Austin, Congresswoman Karen Bass, Commissioner Omari Hardy, Bureau President in Brooklyn, Eric Adams, Dr. Joseph Graves, America's Wealth Coach, Deborah Owens, Dr. Corey A. Bear, Patel Salt. Uh, Howard University student, Pastor Jamal Bryant, a uh, doctor, uh, Christy McDowell, Benja Ajilore, senior economist at the Center for American Progress, Gilda Daniels, again, author of the book, The Crisis of Voter Suppression in America. Four stars, uh, General Kit Ward, Dr. Oliver Brooks, is president of the National Medical Association, the president of the American Medical Association, Dr. Patrice Harris, Joby Benjamin, Dr. Alexia Gaffney, infectious disease specialist, Dr. George is Benjamin, uh, executive director of the Ameri American Public Health Association, Malcolm Nance, family medicine physician Dr. Jen Caudle, Dr. Tashaka Cunningham, a molecular biologist, Kat Stafford. She's a national race and ethnicity reporter for the Associated Press. Dr. Wayne A.I. Frederick, uh, who is the president of Howard University, Congresswoman Yvette Clark uh, from the state of New York, William Spring, AFL-CIO economist, uh, Andrea James, executive director of the National Council for Incarcerated and Formerly Incarcerated Women and Girls. All right, let's go to Capitol Hill. Congressman Gregory Meeks, Congresswoman Anne Johnson of Texas, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, Minnesota Chair. Amy Klobuchar, mental health clinician, Jamie Singletary, Prince George's County State's Attorney, Aisha Braveboy, as well as Dylan uh, Harry, ACLU Justice Division strategist. Uh, Dr. Cindy Duke, uh, she's a virologist.
Fish, Principal Steve Perry of Capital Prep, Health and Wellness Specialist Dr. Yolandra Hancock, Desmond Mead, President of the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition, Cliff Albright, who is the co-founder of Black Voters Matter, Michael Harriet with the group, Amina McWhorter, founder of Love by the Hand, Dr. Julian Malvo, economist, president, emeritus of Bennett College, coroner Michael Fowler, is a mayor of Atlanta, Keisha Lance Bottoms, mental health therapist, Suzette Barnes, Justin Gibney, attorney and political strategist, and Bishop Vincent Matthews, Jr., Dr. Suzette McKinney, CEO and executive director of the Illinois Medical District, Dr. Leon Madugo, president-elect of the National Medical Association, Jana Bailey, Mayor of Moss Point, uh, Mississippi, uh, Mario King. We're going to keep driving this thing to make sure our people are fully aware, safe, protected from coronavirus. You're getting the top medical experts, the top business experts, the top political experts, the top religious experts, because that's why we do what we do unapologetically and unfiltered. Ain't nobody else in the black media space doing what we do. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.